today mm -hmm. we're making pumpkin banana muffins and since it's the season for pumpkin I decided I make one as well and I'm not sure if you know but pumpkin is actually a great low calorie vegetable and if you use the non-sugar one you can even use the can one that's what I used it's still full of nutrients and very low in calories so you can make nice very low calorie muffins so let's grab the ingredients the recipe requires a three medium sized bananas that's about 12 ounces it's good to measure because some bananas are you know two ounces some bananas are way way bigger than that and it's gonna affect the texture of course so i'm gonna mash them very well and add two large eggs to the mixture followed by pumpkin i have a canned pumpkin here but you can of course roast your own and uh, it's gonna be about a cup and a half which is about 360 grams it's good to measure i always measure uh, especially in grams it's more precise and we're gonna mix it all up add yogurt i have greek yogurt here and for the easiness of that i'm gonna add a sweetener monk fruit sweetener i have you can use sugar if you have something against the sweetener and baking powder and baking soda on top of that cinnamon pinch of salt you can also add vanilla extract if you have or you like and a little bit of fresh nutmeg this is of course optional mix it all up very well and there we're gonna add the dry ingredients this is a very simple recipe using one bowl that's it and here i have about 70 grams of buckwheat flour and the same amount 70 grams of garbanzo flour and make sure you measure those by weighing them that's the best way and half a cup of oats those are old-fashioned oats and now mix it all in and for the extra texture and delicious flavor and sweetness i'm gonna add just one apple this apple weighs about eight ounces it's a, it's a pretty large apple and then you can chop it as finely as you can and add it to the bowl and mix it all up now the dough is ready to divide it came out to 17 little muffins and this this one this baking sheet is, is pretty cool it's a silicone one it, it doesn't stick as much as anything else uh, so i don't like to really add any oil or spray anything i'm just gonna put the dough in and hope it works out and i'm using here an ice cream scoop for extra decoration you can add nuts i have a pecan so that's my favorite by far or you can add chocolate chips be careful with that because of course there are gonna be some extra calories if you go crazy and now in the oven 350 fahrenheit for about 25 30 minutes and this is how they come out they are so so delicious let's give it a try and here you go our product is ready to go i definitely like to eat it hot so i'm gonna get it out right now if i can it's falling apart there you go one out still very very hot as you can see but look at this isn't it perfect only 84 calories per this thing you can top it with um some kind of frosting but i would not waste my calories on this look at this so awesome so delicious also i will have to try it mm, it's really good really good just enough sweetness great texture even though you didn't use any type of gluten flour all the flours that we used plus oats gluten-free 
Mmm, and the apple. So delicious. This is really good, but because, I mean, if you're allergic to gluten, this would be a great option. Yeah, I hope you try this recipe. Check out other recipes. I'm gonna include them here and another one here. And I will see you on the next one.